Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Runnerman15, and in today's video, we are going to be playing the other mode in Delta Force Hawk Ops. So, in the last video, which was a while ago, I am sorry about that, we played the extraction mode, which was the hazard ops or the hazard operations. Now, we're going to be playing the other mode. I kind of forget what it's called, but uh, called something, right? So, yeah. So let's go ahead and load into the game and uh, I'm going to give you guys my first impressions and then we're going to get into some gameplay. Once again, I have the performance stats in the top left corner. If you guys are interested in that, it might be kind of hard on, to see on the main video, but for the most part, I'm pretty much maxing out my GPU. So we're going to be checking out Tactical Turmoil. So this is the... Oh. Is this not it? So maybe this is why the uh, last video only got three views. Maybe it had the wrong title. All right, so this is Havoc Warfare. So this is supposed to be kind of like a, uh, a Battlefield-esque mode. So let's check out what we have here. So we have our start page. This is the start menu, obviously. We have our loadouts tab where we can change our operator gear, I guess. I guess we can change our operator as well. So if I wanted to be like the recon lady... Then I can change. Okay, so there are level restrictions for the weapons. That's kind of interesting. So say I wanted to use the SV98 sniper. We can even modify it. Okay. So we actually have to level up the weapon to unlock attachments. Okay, that's cool. So you know, pretty similar to Battlefield, at least Battlefield 2042. Here's our progression tab, kind of like the uh, Call of Duty progression page okay and there are, we can actually see all the different weapons that are in here so these are the rifles the smgs the shotguns the marksman rifles and the sniper rifles at least that we can use on this class i don't know if there are specific guns for different classes we have a operators tab so we can just choose each operator specifically a vehicles tab and then there is a ranked which is locked so let's go in with a sniper because why not and we have one mode and it's called a slash d so let's play it as you can see we also have daily challenges which is pretty cool guys why is my teammate so dumby i think you're the one that's dumby oh we found a match check it my arrows are lit my arrows are lit it's lit so we got dan banano five whiskey and uh, some other dude okay so we can actually deploy now so i guess we'll deploy on a so this is kind of like i think this is like the push game mode let's see ascension attack and defend defend all objectives in the sector so i think it's kind of like the push game mode from battlefield if you've ever played that game mode before so this is the havoc warfare so it looks like they're d-day rushing the beach okay Damn, that dude got sniped. Oh, I hit him. Oi, and I'm dead. I got killed by the boat. It is very similar to Battlefield, so I can wait here and pray that someone will res me. Res me. Res me. So we can lean in this game mode, which is kind of cool. Kind of similar to uh, how Battlefield 5 you could lean in it. Which I always thought that was a cool mechanic. I wish they would have brought that back for 2042, but, you know, obviously they didn't. Okay, so there's dudes up here on this range. Okay. So there's a bunch of people on this hill right here. So where's my bow? Ooh, headshot. That's what I'm talking about. Another one. Ooh, yo. I just took that dude's clean. What? <laughs> I can't even speak with how astounded I am by that shot. Okay, mark him. I like how you can ping in this game. That's a good feature. So is this the answer to the void in our battlefield hearts that we've been searching for that is the question i'm going to be figuring out today they sustained minimal 
Okay. Okay, so I got head glitched by that dude. I've been playing Battlefield 2042 over the past couple weeks because I didn't really experience it off launch. And I've got to say, it has disappointed me a lot. Um, I feel like it's barely a Battlefield game and I find myself going back to the older Battlefield games a lot more just because it doesn't fill the uh, quench I have. The, my it doesn't quench my thirst. To play a large-scale battlefield game. Like, a, a large-scale battle game, I guess. Battlefield 2042 doesn't doesn't fill that void in my heart. I feel like it's kind of like the Timu battlefield, you know? Ooh, bad lead, bad lead. Oh, that dude got a tank on him. I can't aim. Okay, that dude's dead. That dude's dead. I know I'm kind of just uh, camping a little bit, but I really wanted to get a feel for how the sniping is going to be in this game, and so far it feels pretty satisfying. Feels like my shots are are actually registering, you know. Maybe if I can hit one of these shots. There we go. Okay, so I've been spotted. I need to back up. Another thing I want to mention about this game is the animations for just how you handle the weapon and like reloading and stuff are very smooth. I like it. All right, so this I think is a, what a res respawn beacon. I think I, I think I need to back up just a little bit more. I think I'm a little too close to these guys. There's one. That dude's dead. What is this? Is this like a cover or something? There's a bunch of people up there. Dead. No, I let that dude get away. Alright, I'm gonna flank to the right just a little bit. Okay, these two dudes up here are looking kinda crazy. That dude peeked his head out for too long. Okay, I'm gonna pull out my bow. Yeah, this bow is really OP. I will give you that. I'm able to just... I'm able to just scan, like, everyone, bro. Literally just gives me wall hacks. Oh, wow. Okay. That gun is a little crazy. I kind of, like, instantly died. Res me! Res me! Yes! Yes! Alright, I'm gonna peek the same exact thing. And I died again. Just kinda sniping, you know? Saw that dude in the toe. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yo! I mean, it only took... 8 billion shots, but for the YouTube video, I'll cut it. One tapped. <laughs> Jumping ain't gonna save you, baby. Get one tapped. I wonder what Stinkrat would feel. I wonder how he would like this game. I wonder if he'd like it, if he'd hate it. I mean, realistically, they should just make this game. They should just focus on this game, make it a battlefield game. And have, like, the, uh... The extraction shooter on uh, as a, just a side thing, you know. I think the main selling point could be this instead of the actual extraction. Okay, so we have a parachute, kind of similar to uh, Battlefield 2042. Okay, these dudes kind of like look like bots. I think I'm thinking some of the people in this lobby are kind of like bots, which is once again very similar to Battlefield 2042. At least it's not like super obvious, you know. Damn, I let him get away. Oh wow, there's a lot of people down there. I got shot in the back. And someone flanked behind us. Damn! 
the hell did I get shot with? A deagle? What? What is... What's that dude doing? I don't know where I'm being shot from, but... Sure. There's five. Oh, select gadget? I can have a... I think I'm the squad leader, so I can select, like, a drop, smokes, artillery. That's cool. It's kind of like Battlefield, you know? So I have a feeling they're going to have to nerf the uh, arrow. What the hell am I being sh Oh, wow. Now I know where I'm being sniped from. From where? How? How does he see me? I'm not gonna lie, this game does look pretty good. I do have some of the graphics settings turned down. If you watch, if you guys watch the first video I put out on the game, you guys can see what graphics settings I have on. Um, it runs decent. So far, running better than Arena Breakout Infinite. That dude's dead. That dude's dead. Let's go. So these are like shock bolts. That's cool. That dude's dead. I'm being blocked. Don't worry about that. How did that dude get past me? I don't know. Oh, get murked. Oh, I quick scoped him. But I got sniped from across the map. All right, let's try out the ARs since uh, we're kind of more in a close quarters area right now. So let's try out uh, something else. Um, Are we not able to edit our... Ooh, I don't think we're able to actually edit your class in game i'm clicking on it and it's not it's not doing anything so i think we'll just have to go with the default m16 class i'm gonna get the hell out of here just like a launcher or something and get rid of the vehicle yo yeah i'm i'm getting out of there that's, uh, that's not a place I want to be. The hell did I even die by? So I find it kind of unfair for there to be vehicles, and we don't have any vehicles. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But, I don't know how fair it is for us to all just be chilling, and then there's an indestructible vehicle we can't destroy, and it just comes and kills all of us. So, I don't know about that. I'm getting the hell out of here. Oh, looks like we're surrounded by vehicles. Wow, this is, uh, very nice. I can totally, uh, destroy this. Like, look. How the hell is this fair? There's two vehicles in here. There's two. Do we even have rocket launchers, like, on any of the classes? No. Bruh. So. I don't understand how this is fair. I mean, unless we have vehicles, then if we have vehicles, where are they? Oh my gosh. So, how does that only do two damage to the person, but when I get shot at... By an AR, it insta-kills me. Wow. Alright, so far this is kind of feeling like Timu Battlefield. And I've got to admit, it's kind of like Battlefield 2042 if it was developed by a Chinese studio. Literally feels the same as if I'm playing Battlefield 2042. Except for maybe the guns feel a little better. That would be about it. Sniping is obviously way better in this game. Battlefield 2042, it's terrible. The hit registration is just so bad. 
Okay, so why is there an AA if there's no air? What? I mean, maybe there's helicopters, but I haven't seen any single helicopter this whole game. Okay. All right, so if you guys ever play this game mode, make sure you're on the attacking side, because if you play defending, you will lose. Skull mode, skull mode. I had 26 kills? Damn, okay. It's not bad for my, my first match. All right, let's see if we unlocked any attachments for our guns. We got medals. This is the same. Excuse me. This is the same as Battlefield 2042. They have a medal system. Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, is there anything to customize? Oh, we can customize these guys. Looks like there'll be skins for them, badges, emotes, and executions. So I guess executions are in the game. Other than that, I don't think we can really customize these guys very much. So, yeah. Alrighty, well, uh, let's see. We've got an event page. So, uh, you know, typical Chinese games got all the, the different, uh, you know, serotonin boosting modes where you gotta come in here, claim all your rewards and stuff. Or not serotonin, dopamine, my bad. Alrighty, well, so far, this kind of feels like a Chinese... It, it, it feels like Timu Battlefield 2042. Like, the extraction mode I put in the thumbnail. For the extraction mode video, I put on the thumbnail Timu Tarkov. Now, I, I did this just because I wanted to put it for the thumbnail. I don't feel like the extraction mode in this game is a Timu Tarkov. I feel like it's more of a Timu... It's kind of like a it's it's different there are some differences in this extraction mode it's kind of like dmz if you mix dmz and arena breakout infinite together that's kind of what i feel like the uh extraction mode is for the havoc uh warfare what, whatever the hell this game mode is called this mode feels a lot like battlefield 2042 the weapon handling is a little bit different obviously the characters have like different abilities but it is Battlefield 2042 just made by a Chinese company? So realistically, this game is literally Timu Battlefield 2042. Now, is that necessarily a bad thing? My opinion, not really. If this game can do what Battlefield 24, 2042 does but better, then that's all good in my book. At least we'll have a Battlefield-like experience that's better than what we have today, you know? I don't know. I mean, it is fun. Obviously, they'll meet, they'll need to make some challenge, uh, some challenge. Then they'll need to make some balances and stuff. They need to balance the game just a little bit. I've only, this is the only match of the game I've played. So these are my initial thoughts. I'll let you guys know if I have any other thoughts. But to be honest, I'm really excited for this game. And uh, we just recently got news, or not recently got news, but recently arena breakout infinite has been under some fire for its pay to win mechanic where you can literally pay to obtain the in-game currency which in an extraction shooter like arena breakout infinite which is very similar to like tarkov imagine if you're able to just pay money for rubles you know you wouldn't have to grind any of the gear you can literally just buy your kits and then go out and fight people. You have an advantage over other people who have to spend time grinding out their gear, whereas you can have the gear instantly if you want to. And that's not such a big, like such a huge issue. Like I don't see that as like the hugest issue. My thing is it's gonna ruin the game's economy, okay? If you're just able to pay money for items, you know, outside of your stash upgrades and your, you know, your cases that you can fit in your inventory so you can have items that you can't drop when you die, you know. Outside of that, I feel like this will screw up the economy because items are going to be worth less of the in-game money if you're able to just buy the in-game money for real-world currency. You're not earning that currency in-game, thus you're, you're creating more currency in-game, making the overall currency worth less um look at gta 5 for instance you've always been able to buy money in that game and look where the economy is in that game now your average car that comes out nowadays is worth over a million dollars and it's like you know for the average person who doesn't exploit the game you know who doesn't do like heist exploits that takes a long time it takes a decent amount of time to grind out that kind of money 
But Arena Breakout Infinite, you know, I feel like it's just going to make the game even harder for the people who want to play free to play or for the people who don't want to spend money on the in-game currency. Now, as long as this game doesn't do that, I feel like this game could be superior to Arena Breakout Infinite. Especially since the devs have said that they plan on releasing cross-play and cross-platform support. Meaning I could play with my friends on PlayStation while I'm on PC. So, to be honest, I do, I'm very excited for this game. I'm very interested to see where this game will shape, you know, how it will shape and how it will form. And to be honest, I'm interested to see how Arena Breakout Infinite will end up. I uh, just recently played played a couple hours of that game and uh, you know so far it's going good but the pay to win issue is obviously a big issue so yeah if you guys are interested in this game and arena breakout infinite hit that subscribe button i might make a few more videos on these games as they start to you know release as they start to um i guess get more popular i don't know over the coming weeks i'm going to be watching these two games very close and if i feel the need to make a video on them i will other than that I'm Runner Man 15. These were my first impressions on the game. So far, it feels like the Timu version of Battlefield 2042. But so far, I can say that this game is probably going to be a very enjoyable. This mode specifically is probably going to be very enjoyable. And I highly recommend if you guys have a gaming PC to check this mode out. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Peace.